In this third video um, in relation to the 3D modelling of the boat, I'm going to demonstrate how to add materials to the boat and then how to render the boat by adding lights and, and making it look more realistic. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my assembly of the boat. So I'm going to go into my Venter folder, my boat folder, and I'm going to open up my assembly of the boat. So once it's open, um, we can see that we've got three different parts here. We've got the hull, the funnel, and the flagpole. And all I want to do is add different materials to these. Now Inventor has got lots of materials within um, its, its, its folders. And I'm going to show you how to do this with one or two different materials. But you can actually have a go at adding more materials. Now, the way I found them, what I'm going to do is to add material to the individual parts. I want them to be different materials. I'm going to click on the hull double click on the hull here and it greys out the other two and then up at the top where it says default if I click on the little arrow next to it it brings up a big list of materials now some of them are metals some of them are uh, just colours the ones that I tend to use in first year are the sort of smooth colours so if I wanted the boat for example to be smooth red and that applies red colour to the, to the boat to take me back so that the other two are not greyed out anymore, I click return and then I basically repeat for the other two parts. So the funnel, double click on it and go up and you can give it a colour. I'm going to give this a uh, turquoise just for talking sake and then do return. Oh, that doesn't seem to work. I'm going to now add material to the, the funnel. So if I double click on the funnel and I go up to the top and I make it a different material. So let me try something like cyan, I think maybe. It might be quite nice, like a blue. I forgot, in fact, there's blue wallpaper. And then I click return. And that's make it the blue. And then the last one, I'll click on the flagpole and I do the same thing, this time I'm just going to make it yellow, just so I've got a wee sort of contrasting colours. So if I scroll all the way down, I should get to the Ys and yellow, and then return. So what I've now got is some materials added to my part. If you want to, to change them at all at any point, you just do the same thing again. Double click on the hull, up at the top, it will say what colour you've, you've used, you can click on it. And you can then go and change it to a different colour or different anything at all you want. Okay, so I'll just return back to that. So, to try and make this look more or less realistic, because at the moment it is quite flat in colour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it. Now, there are two different ways to render an inventor, but the way, the simplest way I, I found is to go into the View tab. And then when you're in the View tab, you change the visual style from being shaded to being realistic. You turn on shadows by clicking on it, turn on reflections by clicking on it. You can change the lighting to, from two lights to warm lights or whatever. You can, again, this is something you can um, experiment with when you get a wee bit of time. I'm going to change it from being orthographic to perspective and it just makes it a bit more realistic more realistic looking as things get smaller as they go into, into the distance and then the last thing I'm going to do is click on ray tracing and what that do it will do is it will start to add lights and start to make it a bit more realistic now down the bottom here is your ray tracing progress it's in the lowest setting at the moment and it's working its way through when this, this taskbar gets to the end you're able to save the picture that you want to, that you've got there. So I'm just going to let it go right the way through, get all the way to the end, which in some cases can take up to a minute to do. See that at the moment it's taking about 30 seconds. So once it reaches the end, pause goes away and save is now highlighted. I can click on save and I'm going to save this as a picture file. So it will default to bitmap, which is not the best type of uh, picture file. So I tend to use what's called a PNG file, and then I'm going to save it into my boat folder, and I'm just going to call that render1 and save. Okay, 
So to come back out of this, I click on visual style, go back to shaded, and it, it takes off the ray tracing, and we're back to, we can turn off the shadows and reflections, just so we're back to a, a plain boat. Okay, so that will give you something to have a little go at, adding some materials to your boat, or different parts of your boat, and then rendering it and saving your render.